P waves are a type of body wave, called seismic waves in seismology, that travel through a continuum and are the first waves from an earthquake to arrive at a seismograph. The continuum is made up of gases, liquids, or solids, including the Earth. P waves can be produced by earthquakes and recorded by seismographs. The name P wave can stand for either pressure wave as it is formed from alternating compressions and rarefactions or primary wave, as it has the highest velocity and is therefore the first wave to be recorded. In isotropic and homogeneous solids, the mode of propagation of a P wave is always longitudinal. Thus, the particles in the solid vibrate along the axis of propagation of the wave energy. Velocity The velocity of P waves in a homogeneous isotropic medium is given by where K is the bulk modulus, is the shear modulus, is the density of the material through which the wave propagates, and is the first Lama copyright parameter. Of these, Density shows the least variation, so the velocity is mostly controlled by K and I one quarter. The elastic moduli P wave modulus is defined so that and thereby. Typical values for P wave velocity in earthquakes are in the range 5 to 8 km per second. The precise speed varies according to the region of the Earth's interior, from less than 6 km per second in the Earth's crust to 13 km per second through the core. Geologist Francis Birch discovered a relationship between the velocity of P waves and the density of the material the waves are traveling in, which later became known as Birch's Law. Seismic Waves in the Earth Primary and secondary waves are body waves that travel within the Earth. The motion and behavior of both P-type and S-type in the Earth are monitored to probe the interior structure of the Earth. Discontinuities in velocity as a function of depth are indicative of changes in phase or composition. Differences in arrival times of waves originating in a seismic event like an earthquake as a result of waves taking different paths allow mapping of the Earth's inner structure. Equals P wave shadow zone equals. Almost all the information available on the structure of the Earth's deep interior is derived from observations of the travel times, reflections refractions and phase transitions of seismic body waves, or normal modes. Body waves travel through the fluid layers of the Earth's interior, and yet P waves are refracted slightly when they pass through the transition between the semi-solid mantle and the liquid outer core. As a result, there is a P wave shadow zone between 103 a degree and 142 a degree from the earthquake's focus, where the initial P waves are not registered on seismometers. In contrast, S waves do not travel through liquids, rather, they are attenuated. Equals as an earthquake warning equals, earthquake advance warning is possible by detecting the non-destructive primary waves that travel more quickly through the Earth's crust than do the destructive secondary and Rayleigh waves, in the same way that lightning flashes reach our eyes before we hear the thunder during a storm. The amount of advance warning depends on the delay between the arrival of the P wave and other destructive waves, generally on the order of seconds up to about 60 euro 90 seconds for deep, distant, large quakes such as Tokyo would have received before the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. The effectiveness of advance warning depends on accurate detection of the P waves and rejection of ground vibrations caused by local activity as otherwise false positive warnings will result. Earthquake early warning systems can be automated to allow for immediate safety actions such as issuing alerts, stopping elevators at the nearest floors or switching gas utilities off. See also, Earthquake Early Warning, LAM Waves, Love Wave, Surface Wave. References, Milsom, J. Field Geophysics. The Geological Field Guide Series 25. John Wiley and Sons. Pages 232. ISBN 978-0-470-84347-5. Retrieved February 25, 2010. Speed of Sound Through the Earth. Hypertextbook.com. Retrieved December 14, 2011. Seismographs, Keeping Track of Earthquakes. Earthquake.usgs.gov October 27, 2009. Retrieved December 14, 2011. Acoustic Logging EPA.gov. December 12, 2011. Retrieved February 3, 2015.
Geo Helfrich and B.J. Wood. The Earth's Mantle. Nature 412, 501. Figure 1 doi, 10.1038-35087500. Justin L. Rubinstein, Dr. Shelley and W. L. Ellsworth. Non-Volcanic Tremor, A Window into the Roots of Fault Zones. In S. Cloating, Jorgnigendank. New Frontiers in Integrated Solid Earth Sciences. Springer. Pages 287ff. ISBN 90-481-2736-X. The analysis of seismic waves provides a direct high-resolution means for studying the internal structure of the Earth. CMR Fowler. A Section 4.1 Waves Through the Earth. The Solid Earth, An Introduction to Global Geophysics. Cambridge University Press. Pages 100. ISBN 0-521-58409-4. Seismology is the study of the passage of elastic waves through the Earth. It is arguably the most powerful method available for studying the structure of the interior of the Earth, especially the crust and mantle. Lowry, William. The Fundamentals of Geophysics. Cambridge University Press, 1997, pages 149. Photoglossary of Earthquakes. U.S. Geological Survey. Retrieved March 8, 2009. External links. Animation of a P-wave, P-wave velocity calculator, Purdue's catalog of animated illustrations of seismic waves, animations illustrating simple wave propagation concepts by Jeffrey S. Barker. Detection of P waves and rejection of environmental noise for accurate earthquake early warning.